Oh, hi. I am Lisa the Ladybug. Thank you guys so much for watching Makeup by Dizzle's tutorial on how to dress up as a ladybug like me. A lot of times people think that we're really, really grouchy, but we're not. We just love red lips and we love to have a good time. And one time I was even told that everybody thought that we were boys. And that's a lie too. The name is Ladybug. Don't get it twisted, bitches. Bye. I flex, yeah. I got your girl up on my neck, yeah. And she say I'm up next, yeah. And she said that I'm the man. Yeah. Going to the top, yeah, they gon' count me out. All this money coming in, yeah, that's my main route. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to today's video. So, are you guys proud of me? These are two videos in one day. This will get posted tomorrow, though. Anyway. Today I am finally going to get um I'm finally going to do the Almighty Ladybug tutorial. Yeah, so I'm excited to do the Ladybug tutorial. So first and foremost, I just have my hair up. I did my eyebrows already. You can do your eyebrows like red or even black. I don't know, just something to go with the theme. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows regular because I'm gonna wear a wig and the wig has bangs, so you're not really gonna be able to see my eyebrows anyway. So that's why I'm just going to do mine regular. But what you're going to want to do is maybe have an array of like some um, red eyeshadows. When I say red shadows, I'm talking about like this one right here. Um, you could even use like lipstick if you don't have a red eyeshadow. You could even use like a liquid lip. There's plenty of things to use because I know red eyeshadow can be hard to come by. So first and foremost, let's just start with the eyeshadow. So real quick, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. Oh, I also have this red pigment right here. So I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what, you know, what to start out with. I think I might start out with um, this palette and I'm going to do this red right here. And I'm going to start out in the crease of the eye like this. And then I'm just going to make sure and blend it out really good. So just continue to blend. I'm going to do the other side with a bigger brush. If you don't do the red dark enough, it will start to turn. It, well, it won't turn. It, it'll just start to look pink. So you want to make sure that you do the red like deep enough. That way it doesn't look pink. So... I'm almost going to use this, this like, um, what is this called? I'm going to use this, um, palette of lipsticks. I'm going to use this as if they were, um, just like a primer. Does that make sense? And I'm also going to put it on the bottom of my eye too. So just continue to blend that out. So as you can see, it's looking pretty pinkish. I definitely do not want it to be pink. So I'm just gonna take a clean brush and clean up any remaining, remaining, remainder of the shadow. Okay, you guys, so I actually found a red paint. I got these paints from Wet n Wild and I got them at Walmart. If you guys, um have a wet and wild stand look in their halloween area you will find those paints they were very very inexpensive and they're exactly what you need um like i said though you don't have to go out and buy stuff this look is supposed to be super simple so you don't have to go and buy stuff you can just use what you have at home so i'm just blending out the red paint just blend it out. And like I said, if you do it too light, like if you're not heavy handed, it will just start to come out as if it's pink. Even though that we can tell right, right away that this is not pink, it is red. Look. Red. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do in order to Okay, so now you're going to go on the bottom. I just got a red. This is for MAC. It's called Basic Red, and it's actually a red eyeliner. So I just went on the bottom and just started to outline the bottom of my eye. So when you do that, you're going to get another smaller brush. That way you can buff it out. If you wear contacts, be careful because... 
you guys know how it is. As, be careful if you're using a lip liner. That liner that I used is safe for the eyes, but if you're using a lip liner, that's not safe for the eyes. So just be really, really careful. Okay, so right now this looks super messy, not good. That is okay, we're gonna fix it. I'm taking some more of that red pigment and outlining the bottom of my eye. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is clean up this whole bottom area because we don't want it to be all messy and ugly. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of makeup remover this is my dollar Meissler water, and then I'm just gonna get a, a sponge. Uh, what you're gonna do is clean up your makeup. So just get your Meissler water and just clean it up. You're gonna leave it really smoky on the bottom down there, so just leave it the way it is. We want it to be kind of like a round, like roundish, does that make sense? So go back and just clean up all the fallout you just got, did. That's why I always do my face makeup last because of my fallout situation. So I always do my face makeup last. That way I could just wipe up any like fallout and it doesn't mess up my whole entire look. Plus this Meissler water is only a dollar and it's just a really good, it's really, really good. It doesn't work that great. Like, let's say I wanted to take off all my makeup with this. It's not going to work that great. It does work good, though, just to take off, like, the rum and, like, the what's left behind, you know? Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna get a blending brush that's clean and I'm just gonna clean up the remainder of the look. And I'm gonna make sure that this like reddish color goes up pretty high like this. Because, duh, this is a Halloween look. We want it to be, we wanna look like a now what you're going to want to do is get a white eyeshadow, um, any type of white will do. I'm just going to use this All May palette. And I'm going to see if I could just add a white highlight right here. That's cute. Look, you guys. Put a little bit under your eyebrow. And then just kind of like blend it out with the pink. Okay, so as you guys can see, I added some black dots to our eyeshadow look because we are going to be, this is a ladybug. <gasps> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so as you guys can see, I added some dots to my look because this is a ladybug inspired look. So we need to add some little polka dots. So what I did was I'm using the back of this eyeliner. You could use anything that has a small little dot. That way you could just press on dots. It's super easy to do. Um, yeah, it's really, really easy. You guys will find that it's like the easiest. I will show you guys how I did it. So I just got a black eyeliner liquid and I colored in the top of the circle. There you go. Color it in evenly. And then you're just going to press on a dot. Just like that. Easy peasy. You might be able to get two dots out of the black line. Um, I wouldn't try and do three because then it gets half ass on and 
it doesn't look good and you'll end up having to redo it anyway. So again, I'm just marking the thing and we're just gonna make dots. We're gonna put a dot right here. That one didn't come out perfectly circular, but that is okay. It doesn't have to be perfection. Just as long as you get it, just as long as we get the gist. Hello, you're a ladybug. Let's see. I may even have to, hold on here. Let's see, let's just add a little bit more. Okay, you guys, so I put some very large lashes on. As you guys can see, these lashes, I'm not joking. I probably had them since 2012. They are red cherry lashes. They were 250 at the time. I have had these lashes for so long. I have just never had an occasion to wear them. And it's not even that they look like that long. It's that they're so thick, right? like super duper thick. Anywho, I thought this would be a cute look to wear these crazy lashes. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I definitely want the bottom lashes to look thick also. So I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom. Now it is time to do a contour. So I'm going to get our red paint and I'm just gonna make a little bit of some lines here because then we're gonna have to blend this out, you guys. So. Just get your brush and continue to blend this out until it looks semi-decent. It might take a while for it to look okay, but just do your best to blend it out. We're not used to seeing red on the side of our face like this, you know, let's contour. Like we're not used to that. So it's gonna look funny at first, but just like do the best you can and just blend it out the best you can. There you go. Cool, you guys. It's looking really, really pretty. Okay, and then what I like to do is get my, my sponge and then just kind of dab it in so it looks more like your skin. Cool. Okay, so now we need to do the lips. So just outline them in a red pencil. And then you're gonna need a red lipstick. Hello, you guys. This is the end of our ladybug tutorial. Sorry I'm bending down, but I'm just trying to get all of this in frame. So you guys, I got these cute little antennas. I got the accessories. We did the thing at Wally World. It was under $8, super duper cheap. Um, the wig was only $6, it was like $5.98. The reason I wanted to wear the wig is because I didn't want my super long hair to distract from the accessories. I just thought that like a bunch of hair would just take away from the gloves and it would just take away from these cute little wangs and you know, of course the antennas. So anyway, this is the final look. I think it came out really, really cute. It was super easy. You guys could totally do this. I have all the faith in the world. It was really, really easy and simple, and it was a lot of fun. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you all way too much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.
Hey guys, this video is definitely dedicated to Nikki Ortega. She is a subscriber and a dear friend of mine here on YouTube. She asked me to do a ladybug look, so I hope this was beneficial. I hope this helps. Please let me know if you decide to do it, and you will have to send me pictures because I would love to see the outcome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you all way too much. Bye, guys.